Honorable Member for Strathmore Brooks, followed by Andrew McCall. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Alberta's energy sector is the economic engine of Alberta and Canada, and we need major pipeline projects to get our oil to market, which is why I was surprised to learn that this government is currently funding political groups that are working to stop the Keystone XL, Northern Gateway, and the Energy East pipelines from getting approved. To the Minister of Energy, should taxpayers be funding anti-pipeline groups like the Pemmet Institute that want to put our energy future at risk? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a very important question. And part of the answer, Mr. Speaker, is the funds that have been going to the Pemina Institute are to do research with regards to carbon capture and storage, also alternative renewable framework. And Mr. Speaker, quite frankly, the energy companies also fund the Pemina Institute. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given that one, on one hand this government was dealt a major blow last year when the courts ruled against its decision to ban the Pemberton Institute from a public hearing, and then given on the other hand Pemberton received over half a million dollars from various government departments, can the Minister explain to taxpayers what is going on? Yes. <laughs> Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this government, this progressive conservative government, we like to hear from voices all across the province, Mr. Speaker, and from all, everyone. And we are open to hearing from the Pemina Institute with regards to carbon capture and storage, alternative and re uh, renewable energy framework, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, we're not going to apologize for getting input from many different places, whether it be the Calgary University, the University of Alberta, many, many different institutions that provide us very good input into policy, Mr. Speaker. Final supplemental. Mr. Speaker, taxpayers are asking and are confused. We see the government giving money to Pembina when they like what Pembina says on one issue, and then trying to ban Pembina from hearings when they don't like what it says on another issue. Mm -hmm. Will the minister agree that this government has no business funding any activist organizations? This uh, government over there and that particular member obviously has a problem with freedom of speech. Uh, but Mr. Speaker, let me say this. Mr. Speaker, when we have different groups that can provide us policy input from all spectrums, we look to that, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to continue to do that, and we're not going to apologize for that because, Mr. Speaker, we end up with better policies when we get to hear from a broad spectrum of Albertans.